Okay, welcome. Here's a quick little tutorial about how to record in this BandLabs website. So for this task, I'm going to use the MIDI instruments, but the process will be very similar for many of the other um, recording tracks. So I've got that selected. I've got my MIDI track. I happen to have the piano sound set up. Um, I'm going to use for this purposes my um, real keyboard. So I'm going to turn that on and connect that up. So that now instead of having to use my mouse or my letters on my keyboard, I can actually use my real keyboard to actually play in as my recorded instrument. Okay, now. The features that I need to bring to your attention is along this section is what's going to help you to do any form of recording. So we've got the obvious things here, the record button, the play button, go to the end, go to the beginning. This will be a bit of a time lapse throughout the song. Here's the speed. Um, you've got key. I'm not going to worry about that one for the time being. And time signature as to what sort of time signature. Um, and beats are in the bars. I'm going to leave that to 4-4 for now. And now we've got the metronome. In order to do at least your first track, we need to have the metronome on to record against so that you can play at a steady particular tempo. Okay, um, And I found this a really useful thing in any recordings. You can turn the metronome off at any point um, after you've done at least one track. But to get your first track done and get it in time and to be able to copy and paste things and to line up properly, um, playing to a click track or metronome is really useful. So let's look at some of the settings here. So in here, you've got a, a tap tempo. So if I just tap with the mouse, you can change the speed just by tapping at a certain speed a few times. You can bring it up or down to a certain speed, okay, if need be. I'm gonna take it back to 120 for our purposes, okay. You can change the sound. So the default sounds like this. And you can hear all the beats the higher pitch being beat one of the four beats. You can change it to something random. That's a bit weird. Um, cowbell. Again, you're hearing that. So if you change the time signature, that's gonna change how you hear this as well. For now, I'm gonna go back to the default. You can change the volume if you think the metronome is too loud or too soft. And the count in. Um, I recommend at least a one bar count in which means from the time of clicking the record button, you'll have at least one bar to get ready to start playing while the counting's happening. Two bars might be useful rather for people, but I found for the majority, one bar's enough. If you have that off, as soon as you hit record, it's gonna start recording without any counting. Okay, so I'm happy with those settings. Um, now, that's green, so that's ready to go. So we can hear the metronome and we can see it going along the timeline. So the first things I recommend doing is practice playing with the metronome first. So I'm gonna work out what I'm gonna record and practice that. Okay, so I've worked out what I'm gonna record. So let's hit that and see if I can play it in time. stop. Now I can play that back. Now I wasn't 100% happy with how I played that. I was a little bit late with some of the entries. So you could practice it again. Um, I've got a few issues with too many programs running so that's why my timing's just a little bit out. But you can come down to the MIDI editor and here's where you can do a few things in fixing up how things line up. So if I was to Hold that down. Quantize it. 
So I've used the quantized thing and I've brought everything onto the beat. Okay, so I've shifted everything onto the beat by moving to my crotchets or quarter note. Fairly highlighting it, I use the controller command A to, I'll just do that again. So I've clicked into the space. Command A or Control A, depending on which computer you've got, and then I was able to quantize all of those notes into line up by selecting the crotchet or quarter note and hitting the quantize. That feature lines everything up to the nearest beat. Okay, if things don't work out, you've always got the undo button. So let's just quickly hear that again. I'll turn off the metronome this time. Okay, so I've done a 4-4 bar rhythm. Now things you can simply do that, I can hit copy, paste, and I can paste that again. Let's have a listen. Okay, now the next things I can do, I might add another track. I'm going to get a, go another MIDI track. Um, down to instrument and this time I'm going to pick a drum kit okay let's see what that sounds like I can use the actual letters so S, F and O so you can actually play something with the letters I'm actually using my piano keyboard now things I can do here now if I hit play to the MIDI editor, select all, whoop, select in here first, select all, and do a quantize, let's see if that's lined things up a bit. Okay, that's lined that up reasonably well, okay, um, next thing I might do is I might duplicate that. So copy, copy, paste, and I'm going to start here, and I'll this time I'm going to use add the kick drum, and kick drum, yep, and where is it, the snare drum, that's the one, kick drum and snare drum, they're the two I want to do this time, so I'm just going to practice this one. up again. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in there and mid it area, select all, Oop. I want to select all in here, unselect them, select all in here. And I'm going to quantize that again. Let's check that. No, doesn't like that. I'm going to try and quantize it to that one. Getting happy. 
happy with that one now. Cool. So you can see how I can keep layering it and fixing it up and making things happen like that. So that's probably the easiest way to get your recording. I've done two tracks so far. I'm starting to layer a drum kit part. Um, you might want to bring back the hi-hat part or bring back something else and then slowly layer and layer and build your songs. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea on getting you started in recording um, with this program. Um, and I'll be back again on another occasion to show you some of the recording with some of the other features. Catch ya.